Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a vintage black and white effect in Photoshop. So once you have your photo opened up, the first thing you want to do is go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and select the black and white adjustment layer. And that will open up this uh, panel here where you can slide each individual color, color range to be darker or lighter but you don't have to really worry about all that uh, you can tweak it for your photo for example on mine I'm gonna take the blues and the cyans and darken them a little bit but it's gonna be different for every photo the main thing you want to avoid is making anything too bright or too dark so once you've added a little bit of contrast um, by darkening your darks and lightening your lights a little bit go ahead and create another new adjustment layer and this is where most of the vintage look is going to come from this is layer new adjustment layer curves select OK and the main key here is to just drag the bottom left slider up a little bit of the way while keeping it all the way to the left and then create a point about a quarter of the, a quarter of the way down your line and add a little bit of contrast to that line. So you can see that simple step just takes out all of the harsh and true blacks and turns them into more of a charcoal gray which if you look at before and after definitely give your photo a more older and vintage feel. Finally we're going to add some dust and scratches to this photo. Now this is where you can do a lot of heavy dust or just keep it light and it's up to you on how you want the final effect to look but here's what I'll do this is a really useful trick to create dust uh, from scratch in Photoshop you go to layer new fill layer and select solid color and then for the color picker just set it all the way to black so jet black then you go to filter noise add noise it'll ask you to rasterize this layer so you can edit it just select OK and set the noise to about a hundred percent uniform and monochromatic next you want to go to filter blur Gaussian blur and set that to about one to two pixels I'll use 1.6 here and finally go to image adjustments levels and drag the leftmost slider in and the rightmost slider in to create a little bit of contrast. So what you want to do is just have a few specks of dirt and dust here and there. Also take the output levels and take the white and drag it down a notch just about a quarter of the way so that, that the whites aren't so harsh. I can set that to about 200 so once you're done adjusting the sliders to your liking it's going to be random randomly generated every time um, I'm using 110 1 and 152 go ahead and select OK and then set the blending mode of that layer to screen so what you did there was you just randomly generated some dust and scratches in Photoshop uh, since it's going to be unique for each time there's going to be some obnoxious looking scratches or some fake looking ones here's where you can just grab your eraser tool and grab a large soft round brush and just get rid of those so if there's any that are just sticking out and kind of not blending in very well you can get rid of those until the dust and scratches kind of blend in and then finally uh, we're going to go to layer new fill layer actually layer new layer so just a blank layer and once you're happy with everything underneath here we're going to go to image apply image select OK and then go to filter noise and we're just going to add a thin layer of noise on top of everything but take it down from a hundred percent to more about two to five percent depending on how distressed you want your photo to look. I'm going to use 3% and 
and select OK. Remember to make it mono monochromatic and uniform. And then we're going to put the photo through one final spin of adjustment. And what that's going to be is after you added the noise, go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Except this time, keep it under 1. So don't do anything over 1. Really, like 0.5 to 1 is enough. It's just going to be, it's just going to add a slight bit of graininess and blur to your photo. I'm going to use 0.7 and then your last step is going to be layer, new adjustment layer, brightness contrast and after we put the photo through all those effects we're just going to add some contrast to the final image. So just take that contrast slider and slide it up to about 50. You can even adjust the brightness or darkness if you want a little bit but you really don't have to it's going to be different for everyone's photo but what that does is takes all that dirt and that dust and that adjustment that we did and it blends it back in so that this looks like it was a part of the original photo and there's your final effect really you can tweak any of these settings how you like um, I know you can't really go back and edit it after you apply the image but if you want to change things you can just start back from that step and here's a before and after so I definitely think it looks like it's taken a lot more vintage looking and hopefully you've learned a couple tricks from this video especially I think the generating dust from scratch is pretty cool so thanks for watching send me an email at justthisgood at gmail.com if you have your own questions and I'll see you next time